What's up, tall guy in rocking chair here. And last night I was requested to give my opinion and points of view about Raw. Now, I grew up watching Raw back with my grandfather. And if you missed my story, um, check it out. And you can hear the whole part. <clears throat> Excuse me. But the thing is, back in the old days when it was Raw's War and stuff like that, and the Attitude aggress attitude Error, not the P, what am I trying to say? Um, not what they have now, but the Ruthless Aggression Error. Back in the 90s, the 80s, 90s, and stuff. That is when Raw was good. Now, I can't stand watching anymore. I mean, honestly, the tag team division is a joke. The women's division is a joke. They got that ugly looking Universal Championship. They underutilize their talents. They got cringe herself, Stephanie McMahon, and Triple H and his henchman, Samoa Joe. And honestly, they have two, maybe three weeks before Fastlane, and they're not building anything. Then they host the show where we got Big Show and Braun Strowman as the main event. Big Slow, get off my fucking TV. Braun Strowman's okay. I'm, he's starting to grow to me. Now, I don't know how much of this is true. But I heard from some resources of mine that after Raw went off the air, The Rock had came out and a buddy of mine actually sent me the footage and it looks to be legit, but I don't know if it's real or if it's just like a photoshopped or edited video. But the rocket came out, um, tried to call CM Punk. He didn't, he got his answering machine. He got the message saying fifteen thousand or however many people that was, and at the Staples Center was chanting his name, and they were. And then he tried to FaceTime him. It didn't work. And then he ended it where he started talking. And then he did a bunch of other wrestlers' catchphrases. Did his signature catchphrase. Then McMahon's music hits. Vince music hits and says, The Rock. Like we're supposed to be shocked about it. Then they go and take a, a picture together. And then Rock's music hits again. And they walk, they toss the mic back and forth and walk backstage. Now, I give it. I think what they should do is McFoley should go above Stephanie, bring Dean to Raw, and bring Sammy to SmackDown. Reform the Shield and everything. Granite. Yes, a lot of people are questioning 
that theory. But honestly, Wall was garbage last night. It was a joke. I mean, back back when I watched it when I was a kid, I loved it. I was all for Monday nights. I couldn't stop watching it. Until this day, I still like Monday nights. But I'd rather watch SmackDown sometimes because they got good storylines. And they know how to book matches. They don't got Mr. Kevin Dunn buck tooth himself. And this McMahon screwing up. They need to reevaluate and get more people and book legit good matches. Because if they ever, and I leave, I, I use this term very lightly, if they ever want to be smacked down in the ratings, they need to get their act straight. If I was a, if I wanted to joke around, I would say that Raw gave me AIDS. That's how bad it was. It makes some people want to take a shot of bleach. So, that is my Raw review. Hit the like button, subscribe. And comment below. Peace.